Art helped me to recognize that everything around us and inside of us is composed of these, these small elements that repeat and stack and compound to create these complex structures, like um, biological structures, human structures, as well as like social structures or, or like the universe. The universe itself is made up of these, these planets that make these solar systems, that make these galaxies. And the scale is just massive. And so I started relating that to art by, by taking really small elements of design, like lines, dots and circles and repeatedly stacking and layering them until they created these organic structures. And because they they weren't, they're not representative of anything. It's not a landscape or portrait or, or anything like that. The, there is no expectation. I am able to come up with a small pattern and then repeat that over and over again. And that, that repetitiveness becomes like meditative and, and therapeutic. And it's, it's brought me to a place of a lot of acceptance and mostly like acceptance of, of solitude. Like some of these pieces, they take so much time and, and patience. Like some of the bigger pieces are 100, 150 hours of like doing like dots just over and over and over again. And, and that time spent my, by myself and with my thoughts listening to music or or listening to podcasts, it's it's comforting. Like I get to I get to wake up in the morning and, and create something with my hands and have this this tangible proof that I was in that moment. I was creating those dots in that moment and and most of the time I'm not really concerned with with the final product of, of what it's supposed to look like because it's it's become about the process. So art is is the biggest role in my life. It's, it's taught me a lot. It infiltrates everything that I do. Like every, every experience or anything that I learn or feel, like I can put it back into the art. And in that way, it feels like nothing's wasted. Prior to being involved in this residency, I had been an avid Goodwill customer. I discovered the Goodwill back when I was in high school and I would go there and uh, I would like try on all kinds of funky clothes and kind of like mess around with my style and then in college I started going there to source art materials. I found that like I could get like old canvases, old like wooden surfaces and I could repurpose them and do my art on top of them and then I even, I even worked for Goodwill for a couple months in college and that was really fun because I was uh, I worked at the cash register a lot of the time but then I was also like back at the door taking in donations and like being the first person to kind of like go through this this treasure trope and my brain was constantly working I was constantly thinking like how could I take this like ordinary material and, and turn it into to something else so that was like it was always fun it was a sustainable and economic way to dive into art 